Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny Nasek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna introduce another free self-hostable feed aggregator. Another means I already introduced one before, about two weeks ago, I introduced a mini flux, also a free self-hosted RSS aggregator or reader. If you like the simplicity of the web GUI from Miniflux, this may be best for you. But if you want to have some more modern view and more compact view on the content feed, then you may want to try Flash RSS, which is going to give you more function, more configurable deployment. Flash RSS is not new, it's already in the market for 10 years. It gives you host yourself ability and gives you a more powerful comparing to Miniflux aggregator. It's also completely free and community friendly. Same as Miniflux, I'm gonna use a different way to deploy it. I'm gonna play it using docker run command in a play with docker also gonna deploy it to the fly.io based on this github project for now let's jump into it we're gonna go through those deployment one by one as usual i already have a blog post to record all steps and all references for you to take a look while watching this video it's gonna show you all command and all different methods i will show you in the video it gives you easy follow screenshot guide to let you complete this deployment take a look the video description you will find the blog post url the first thing now we're gonna do is we're gonna use play with docker command and quickly deploy it and then we will see how it looks like. After that we're gonna deploy it to fly.io. Now let's go to play with docker. I have been using play with docker to test in the docker for a long time. So it's the simplest way and the easiest way to play with the Docker you're going to deploy. If you go to my blog post, you will see this Docker run command. Just copy and then you can paste it in Docker Playground. Once you have your session created, Control Shift V is the play command to paste the command into this console. After that, just wait it download the Docker image and launch it. That is how simple it is. You can experience in it. As you can see, deployment was completed successfully and we have port 8080 opened. Just click on it, then you're gonna experience in this web GUI wizard to show you complete Flash RSS setup. So all requirements for your install this Flash RSS is okay. Then we can go to next step. If you have SQL database or other MySQL, Postgres SQL, then that's fine. I would like to try SQL Lite, which is easy to use without any database connections. You're gonna create your first user depending on what you want to put in there. I always put the admin account. So that is how simple you can create your Flash RSS to experience in it. Now we finish the installation. What we need to do is just log in using the password we just typed in during the installation wizard. Now we are in, we should be able to experience all configurations as admin. One command, one minute 
he will meet only the five minutes. But for five minutes tutor, we're going to give you Fly.io deployment since Fly.io provide free allowance for you to use and we also can deploy this flash RSS docker into it based on this project developed by Sasia Bihat. Now let's go to next session deploy flash RSS on Fly.io. Fly.io is a web application platform which supports you to deploy your code faster, easy, and also close to your users. With more traffic to your application, they can deploy it to the city your user close to and make it the latency and the web visiting is much faster. Anyway, so just like Heroku platform, you can put your code there. The nice thing they have, they have free allowance. Once you put your credit card in, they allow you to have three shared CPU. Each one will be 256 megabytes virtual machine. You can have three gigabyte volume storage, which is persistent. 160 gigabyte outbound data transfer. And also you can have um, your certificate, 10 of them. There's other free allowance there as well. You can take a look. It's a different, they don't give you web UI to deploy your code. They gonna, you're going to have to install the applications on local and then start to deploy. So I'm going to go through the step by step based on this project in GitHub and show you how you can quickly deploy it and also of course we're going to use HTTPS with your domain. Now we're going to start the deployment of Fresh RSS in Fly.io. I'm going to follow the guide line from this GitHub project step by step. Uh, I will mute myself and I'm going to play maybe two times faster when I replay this video recording back.
We have launched our app in Flight.io. Our next step is add certificate with our own custom domain to it. So it's also very simple to do from the dashboard of your app. There's a certification menu page. Just click add certificate. In this case, I'm gonna use Cloudflare to as our DNS manager. So this is our Cloudflare DNS record management interface. We're gonna create a new record for our custom domain. And this new record, we're gonna generate a certificate to it. So let's call it my RSS dot 51sec.eu.org website then we should be able to create it creating will not take long just a couple seconds then we can add scene in the code in there we need to confirm our domain ownership so let's do that Copy the record value, save on it, Let's put the DNS only here. Say, if you go back to your certificate, you should be able to see this has been verified. Let's give it a try. Perfect. Now it is working. Everything is running under my domain with valid HTTPS certificate. We also can log in using our username and password. That's exactly what we want to see. After that, you should be able to do more configuration from this fresh RSS dashboard since you are the admin of this app. Let's pretty much everything for this video. I want to show you how to set up your own Flash RSS without your own VPS. You can use this service completely free. You can have your free domain, free Cloudflare account, and also free web application platform Fly.io to run your Flash RSS web app. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. See you in my next episode.